Yesterday was a good day. My friend Jeff helped me with a big project. You remember two of the birch tree trunks had broken off in storms last uh, one last month, another but the month before that. Leaving the largest one which leaned off towards the well, north which is that way. <coughs> So yesterday, he and I, hold on a second while I fix this, <laughs> okay, well he and I uh, agreed on a way to take this down. <clears throat> the one that we did yesterday was the one that you see now on the right. I had gone up quite a ways with my little ladder, taking off the lowest branches, and then yesterday he went up a bit higher with the extension ladder. Uh, the reason for that is so that when it came down it wouldn't hurt us <laughs> too bad. So then he went up to just about three feet beyond that point. I'll keep walking. And he made a, a, a little cut. We didn't make a notch, just a simple cut. And he's on a ladder pretty high. I'm steadying it a bit. But uh, then, with the cut, we thought we would detach a rope from out here where I'm standing, way out here, <coughs> that uh, we could yank on that and eventually crack it and break it off. So we're talking another section about three times what you see there. Well, twice that would be the piece that we broke off. Cut it just enough. It didn't work. Tried it again, didn't work. So the third or fourth time, after cutting it about halfway through, we realized it would probably crack if we pulled on it hard enough. So we came back out here and it, we just thought we had failed again. <clears throat> and it's kind of dangerous because if we keep cutting it too much, it could fall the wrong direction and end up over there and wreck some stuff. So we tried it one more time. We grabbed the rope. I had gloves on. Uh, in the middle of all that, Jeff was reciting uh, Julia Child. He was giving the tree a, his Julia Child treatment, and <laughs> before long, I had to just let go of the rope, and about that time it did crack. It came this way, fell all the way out to uh, and into this tree, filling all of this area with brush and pieces. Uh, about that time a neighbor came by, he thought we were <laughs> crazy pulling on that thing with a rope. He didn't realize we'd already cut it. And about that time when it came down, he walked over with a power saw. He brought his little electric uh, chainsaw and he took apart all of it. And uh, I used my loppers, but he took some of it home for his uh, fireplace and left me with a couple of little piles. There's one way over there. You can't see it. I think I have four of those. So no big deal. We're happy. I mean, I'm happy. I appreciate a great deal that Jeff helped me with this. It was risky and dangerous. A bit of work.